Hello everyone, welcome back to your mat, welcome back to some intentional movement. In today's video, we are going to go through about a 15 to 20 minute flow. This is designed for morning practice in particular. And primarily our main focus and our main intention is going to go around the word tension tension and friction, how you associate yourself with pain. So when someone tells you tension, muscle tension, what is the first word that kind of comes up? Now, the, the intentional card that I, the healing mantra that I have pulled for today's practice, that was sort of the inspiration behind it all, is called demystifying the darkness, demystifying the darkness, the shadows. My shadows shows me where my love needs to be sent. So this talks really all about all of the things that we get triggered with during the day, all of the things that we find as we are being insecure about, about ourselves, or all of the things that, that we would consider tension-based or it creates friction in our lives. So this is what this is all about. It's all about the shadow or the aspects of ourselves that is really asking us to heal, to transcend, to pay attention to. And so you will find that whenever you send lots and lots of love and healing energy to those areas, you become a little bit softer and you essentially have the ability to transmute that energy into something different. So this is what we're really going to be focusing on. So pay attention throughout the entire practice. It's not going to be a long one. This is designed obviously for all levels. For props, we're going to be using, I have a couple of blocks here, so feel free to use them at any time. I'm mainly going to be using them at the very end for some chest openers, but we're also going to go into triangle and, um, and side angle. So throughout those, if you need extra support, obviously just grab them if you have blocks. And I also have a huge bolster here. So this is a larger size bolster. If you find that you don't have a bolster, then you can also use a larger sized, like really thick, dense pillow, or you can use a couple of pillows. Um, it's mainly going to be for us to do a couple of chest openers. We're really going to be focusing our practice today on opening things up, opening up the heart, opening us up so that we can be vulnerable and we can allow the energy to heal, allow the energy to move through whatever tension that we're really gripping onto and hanging onto. So without further ado, why don't we just dive right in, take a moment, let's get settled. You can start in Shavasana or you can also start in easy pose, which is where I'm at right now. Just take a moment, get settled, close your eyes. We're going to take three deep breaths through the nose and exhale through the mouth. So here we go. And release. Let's do that one more time. And release. Last one. And release. So take a moment in the stillness and just quickly scan through the body, starting at the top of your head, scanning all the way down to the bottom of your toe. Really check in and see where your body's holding tension. Where are you holding tension? Where are you feeling neutral? Where are you feeling at ease? No judgment, just witness it for where you are at at the starting point. And whenever you're ready, just gently close your eyes. We're going to take a moment to set our intention for today's practice, but really focus on tension really focus on what are aspects of yourself that gets easily triggered that you're really ready to just release into the universe today. So take a moment, bring it to your forefront of your mind, and we're going to take a nice deep inhale and exhale it out. Let's begin with a deep breath and we're going to begin just warming up our upper back and our spine. So bring your right hand to the mat and we're going to do some side bends. Use your breath to drive you to the center. Exhale as you side bend to the right and move a bit your own breath here. 
So here, find yourself uh, in table and make sure that your shoulders and your wrist is nice and stacked and your knees are hip width apart. We'll begin with the first few rounds of cat and cow. So exhale as you go into cat, inhale into cow. A few more rounds with your own breath. Make sure that you round your back and sit back into child for just one breath here. Then come back into table and we're going to be moving into our upper back opener. So bring your arm up and thread it through the opening of your left arm. And we're going to stay here for just a couple of breaths. Nice, deep breath, just breathe through. Come back to table and we're going to inhale your hand up and we'll do that on the other side. Same thing, just don't forget to breathe. Nice, deep, even breath. At your next inhalation, slowly come back to table once again. And we'll be setting up for our first downward facing dog. So here, sway back a few more times and then step back into your first downward facing dog. Paddle it out if that feels good. It's more important that you push your torso towards your hamstrings and towards your knees and sway back and forth into high plank and downward facing dog just so that we are actually also warming up the shoulders then bring your right leg up and step through into high lunge we're going to stay here for two breaths Next inhale, come up to high lunge. We're going to stay here for two full breaths. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. And exhale into your warrior two. Slowly transition into star. And from here, bring your hands to your hip and slowly lower down into your wide-legged forward fold. Get comfortable. We're going to be here for two full breaths. From here, pivot your right foot to the top of the mat, and we're going to stay here in low lunge, then take your right arm and slowly exhale into another upper back twist. Stay here for two breaths. Then frame your foot and step back into your downward facing dog. Once again, pedal it out. Bring your left leg forward into your low lunge. Get steady here. Two nice deep breaths. And then when you're feeling nice and steady, we're going to come back up into our high lunge. Nice deep breath once again. And then adjust your footing into your warrior two. Nice deep breath here. Then once again, pivot your foot, hands on your hips, and lower into your wide-legged forward fold. Let's get comfortable here. You can touch your ankles um, for stability. Breathe. You can use blocks here if you'd like. Then pivot your foot to the front of your mat. Right hand on the mat lift left arm for your upper back twist once again and breathe don't hold your breath frame your foot once again and step back into your downward facing dog breathe lift your light right leg into your three-legged dog and bring your leg through between your hands into your another low lunge breathe and stand up into your high lunge Tilt your foot once again into star, then hands into prayer, and we're gonna go into our Shvandasana to the left and then back to the right. Go as low as it feels comfortable, and we're just gonna use the breath to move us back to center, then to the right next to center then to the left now we're going to come back into star then pivot your foot again once again come back into your warrior two two breaths here straighten your front leg and 
lower down into your triangle and we're going to quickly transition from triangle into your your side angle frame the foot once again into your deep lunge and then your next exhale come back into your downward facing dog pedal it out and breathe two breaths here catch your breath left leg lift up into th three-legged dog bring it between your hands for your low lunge when you're steady take two breaths here come all the way up into your high lunge adjust your footing for star then right away we're going to bring our hands to prayer and we're coming right into the right side for shavandasana and use your breath to move you to center exhale into the right inhale center exhale to the left inhale center and exhale to the left come back to center again for star adjust your footing for warrior two nice deep lunge here two more breaths nice deep breath straighten your front leg shorten up your footing tilt your hips back and come down into your triangle then shift slowly into your deep lunge and transition into your side angle then frame your foot now we're here here we are in our low lunge two breaths then step back into your downward facing dog so from your downward facing dog just take a moment to take a nice deep breath then come into your high plank lower down chaturanga and you can come into your up dog or your cobra and exhale into your downward facing dog then bend your knees step up to the top of the mat into your forward fold reverse swan dive slowly upward salute exhale heart center take a moment here take a moment here in mountain and check in and see where the tension is in your body in comparison to where it was at the beginning of the practice we're going to get ready for our balancing postures first we're going to begin with eagle so let's get started with a nice deep inhale here we're going to shift our weight to your right and get set up for eagle so if this is available to you then you can clasp your hands and your elbows together and when you're ready when you're feeling stable bring your right hand and wrap it around your stabilizing leg twice Find your focal point here sit a little bit deeper then next inhale up we're going to do a quick reset and we're going to do the same thing on the other side so hands up bring your hands wrap it around your stabilizing leg set up your arms so that they are clasped together elbows wrapped into each other find your focal point first breathe and we're going to stay here for two breaths when you're ready release your arms release your hands hands up and bring it down into heart center next we're going to be setting up for tree so bring your hands to heart center again shift your weight to your left and when you're ready when you're feeling nice and stable bring your right leg to either your calf or your inner thigh create nice compression create compression between your feet and your thigh as well as between your hands and find your focal point and breathe when you're ready to release then bring your thigh to the front shake it off and we're going to repeat this on the other side again find your focal point make sure that you breathe evenly don't hold your breath 
and bring your knee to the front and release. Find yourself at the top of your mat for mountain. And then let's do a forward fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale, step back into your high plank. Then sit back into child's pose. One more breath. Then come back to table and sway your feet around. Bring your feet around and slowly find yourself <clears throat> on your back. So let's get set up for our floor sequence. You're going to need to bring at least one of your blocks with you and bend your knees bring it as close to your bum as possible and see if you can touch the back of your ankle and we're going to set up for a bridge when you're ready start begin to lift your pelvis you can bring your shoulders underneath you clasp your hands and make sure that you're driving through the heel lift the pelvis simultaneously make sure that you breathe we're going to be here for about two breaths in total, then release your hands and slowly with control, one vertebra at a time, release your back, back onto the mat. Not spending too much time in rest, we're right away moving into setting up for our second set. So bring by your blocks. When you're ready, lift your pelvis, place the block underneath your sacrum as well as your low back. So find the height that actually works for you here and release still driving upwards through the heel while you're breathing nice and deeply i'm actually going to release the block and just return to the actual posture again lift the lift through the pelvis drive it towards the sky while you're pressing down through the heel and make sure that you deeply breathe here slowly release and return back to your mat and breathe bring your knees to your chest for a little bit of rocking and rock side to side then rock yourself to seated we're going to um, begin to set up for our supported uh, chest opener so for that you will actually need your bolster and two blocks so you have a couple of different options. You can either lay your block on its edge like so, and the other block, you can put it on its highest point. And then we're going to put the bolster over it. As you can tell in a moment, I'm going to be readjusting things. I actually really prefer it when my lower block is at its lowest settings and when you're ready you can just simply lay down and as you can tell we're really looking at that opening that surrender if you have eye pillows this would be a perfect time for you to use them and just breathe stay here as long as you need to as long as it's serving you once again, take a moment, check in on how your body's holding tension. It might be different or it might have completely dissipated at this point. No judgment, just witnessing. When you're ready, slowly come to a seated position. So I hope that you have enjoyed this and I'll see you on the mat again next time. Bye.